Hello. Today on Larissa's Kitchen, I'm going to be making tuna lemon loaf. Now, whenever I tell people I'm making this dish, I always get a groan, and I can't understand why, because it tastes so good. And, if you're like the thousands of other people in this country who hoard food, I mean, are extreme couponers, and you have 97 cans of tuna fish, along with a whole basement full of groceries awaiting the apocalypse, this is your go-to meal. So let's get started on the ingredients. Okay, to start, you will need three six ounce cans of tuna, drained and roughly flaked, four egg yolks, along with their whites in a separate bowl because we will be whipping these, half of a large white onion, finely minced, one sleeve of saltine cracker crumbs, finely processed, one 10 ounce can of cream of celery soup, a third of a cup of fresh parsley that's been roughly chopped, a quarter cup of lemon juice, a half teaspoon of white pepper, and one teaspoon of kosher salt. Okay, now just like a meatloaf, we can add all these ingredients in at once, except for the cracker crumbs and the egg whites, which we'll whip and fold in later. So let's get going. Alright, we have to get this mixed together before we can add our cracker crumbs in here. Alright, once you get this thoroughly mixed, we're going to go ahead and add all the breadcrumbs. Now when we mix up the breadcrumbs, this is going to look pretty dry, and don't worry about that because once we put in the egg whites, it will be sufficiently moisture. Okay, before we get started whipping these egg whites, we are going to have to do a couple things first. We want to make sure that we have our oven preheated to 350 degrees and that we have a 9 by 5 by 2 inch loaf pan coated with nonstick cooking spray. Alright, so we're going to whip these egg whites until they form stiff peaks. Looks like we have stiff peaks here and we can check. Yes, these are stiff peaks. You can see they stand up. All right, we don't want to over whip these because they will dry out. All right, we've got to get these eggs folded in here and first I'm getting the cat off the countertop. All right, just do a little bit of this at a time. It's about a third of it. You want to put your egg whites on top then fold down the middle and come back up, folding down the middle. We don't want to deflate these egg whites because they are going to provide the lift for this uh, loaf. And that is why I wear an apron. Okay, we don't have to completely fold this all the way in, but we don't want to have too many egg whites all over the place. All right, we want to make sure that our oven is preheated because we want this to go directly from the bowl into the oven. We don't want to let this sit at all or our egg whites will deflate. All right, we are going to get this into our oven and we are going to bake it for about 45 minutes. At that point, we're going to insert a knife into the center and if it comes out dry, then this is done. If it comes out wet, we have to continue baking for at least another 10 minutes. Okay, in the middle rack of your oven for 45 minutes. All right, the timer has gone off on that first 45 minutes, so let's give this a check. Oh, I can already tell. Oh, that's come out dry. So this is done, we're going to go ahead and take it out and let it rest for about 10 minutes. Alright, let's give this tuna lemon loaf a taste. I have some delicious hollandaise put on top of this as well. Mmm, delicious.